Alrighty, my friends, so welcome back to the phonics portion of our day. Of course, we're going to go over the eight sight words that we will be tested on on Friday. We will go over our letters and sounds. We'll go and practice our nonsense words or make-believe words. We are going to substitute phonemes, changing the last sound to make new letters. We're going to visit our friend, Willie Worm. Okay, so this is Willie Worm. We'll listen for words that begin with the W sound, and we'll listen for words that begin with the O sound. So we're working with Willie Worm and Leo the Lion. Okay, we're going to read a story today and compare and contrast um, characters in our story. Now remember, characters are either people or animals in a story. So we're going to compare and contrast that. So with that being said, let's go ahead and work on our sight words. So these are the sight words, the five new sight words plus three extras that we will be tested on on Friday and your parents will upload on Schoology. Okay, first one is ask every look out walk this is an extra one then that's an extra and must so those are the eight sight words that we're going to be working on, okay? And then let's go ahead and review the rest of our sight words. Remember, friends, continue to practice all of them. All right, so here we go. New, to, into, how, see, help, who, her, me, do, where, down, could, sad, some, for, give, away, was, over, come, here, your, hey, there's your, what, are, eight, go, now, from, them, be, find, many, like, but, just, up, with, play, little, so, is, the, went, all, came, a, my, will, we, make, on, by, that, have, no, Good, he, there, soon, they, she, of, and, this, when, I, say, only, and you. Very, very good. All right, friends, so let's go ahead and move on. Let's go ahead and do... Our make-believe words. Okay, remember we need 15 of them in one minute. So here we go. Zach's Gan Din Mun Fug Keb Weth Saz Get Pig, Rop, Wid, Roll, Jax, Veth, Jun, Nip, Faz, Dudge, Cax, Seth, Vet, Sop, Dex, Guck, Sab, 
com tag set. All right, very, very good, friends. That was really, really good. Now, remember, if your scholar is having a hard time with just automatically reading it, then go ahead and have them sound it out and read it, okay? All right, let's go ahead and do our letters and sounds. Okay, we need 40 in one minute. Here we go with letter G, Y, Z, I, R, X, S, H, A, J, K, F, C, Q, P, N, V, L, T, O, E, M, B, D, U, W. Ding, 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 ding. Very, very good. That was super duper fast, friends. Great job. Let's go ahead and do sound ah eh mm b d uh w g y z e r x s a j k k w p n v o t good job all right okay so let's go ahead and do some substituting of phonemes Ugh. all right this magic book is super heavy all right friends so i'm going to say a word then uh you will change the sound you hear at the end of the word to make a new word so i'll do the first one listen my word is pin. Mm. My word is pin. Mm. We're going to change the n mm in pin to g. Pig. Very good. My new word is pig. Good job. All right, let's try this next one. My word is su. Mm. My word is su. Mm. We're going to change the n mm in sun to b. So very, very good. Good job. All right. My word is wish. My word is wish. We're going to change the sh in wish to n. Wi. N. Very good. Win. Excellent, my friends. All right. My word is back. My word is back. We're going to change the k in back to D, ba, d, very good, bad, excellent. My word is net. My word is net. We're gonna change the t in net to k, net, k, neck. Very, very good. Good job. All right, let's go ahead and practice our phoneme seg. You will be tested on this part as well. All right, so I'm going to say a word. You will break down the sounds. Dime. D. I. M. May. M. A. Cone. K. O. M. Bump. B. A. M. P. Cop. K. O. P. Pay. P. A. Spin. S. P. I. N. Let's try a hard one. Blend. B. O. E n d twist t w i s t trunk t r u n k strain s t r a n flop f o o p jack j a k foot f u t go g Oh, very, very good. Good job. Great listening ears there, my friends. All right. So, so this, my friends, is Willy Worm. And Willy Worm begins with a W. This is a consonant, W. And the sound for W is W. 
right? And we can hear w at the beginning of words such as we, wig, say them with me, we, wig, with, will. Okay, so those are words that begin with the w sound. So what we're going to do now, friends, is Leo the lion and Willie the worm are, they're a little confused about, not sure. They need to find things in the room that begin with the, either the U or the W sound. All right, so here is Leo and here is Willie. So we're going to look at the very first one. Ladder, oh, ladder. What is the beginning sound in ladder? Aha, oh, very good. All right, let's look at our next one. This is the picture of a wagon. Wagon, what is the beginning sound in wagon? Wuh, good job. All right, lamp. Lamp. What is the beginning sound in lamp? Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, good job. All right, let's look at this next one. Okay. Watch. Wa wa watch. What is the beginning sound in watch? Good job. Wa. Okay. Leaf. Leaf. What is the beginning sound in leaf? Great job. Oh, excellent. And finally, web. Web. What is the beginning sound? Mm-hmm. Great job. All right. Before we read today's story, my friends, here are a few of our picture cards. This is... my word. All right, so look at this one. This is our sight word, ask. Okay, so look at this and let's read it. I ask for food when I am hungry. Mm -hmm. So I ask for food when I am hungry. And ask. All right, let's look at our next one. This is the sight word every, okay? We brush our teeth every morning. All right, so they brush their teeth every morning. All right, the next one is look. Okay. We look at the art. The very art that they're looking at. Okay, and that's a sight word. Look. Okay, next one is out. Okay. We camp out in the yard. Have you ever camped out in your yard? I have. It's pretty fun. We had a tent and all. And finally, this is the site where walk. Okay. We walk in the Park. So that's who do you think that is? Yeah, it's probably his mommy. So him and his mommy walk in the park. All right, so now let's go ahead and read today's story. Now remember, I said that today we were going to compare and contrast characters. And characters are either people or animals in a story. So, 
don't think it's going to be animals. I see three girls in the front of our book. Okay. And they all look like they're all different sizes, right? They're not all the same size. So maybe, maybe they're sisters. I don't know. So maybe one's the oldest, and then maybe this is the one in the middle, and then maybe this is a baby. But let's go ahead and read and see what we find out. This story is titled One of Three, and it's written by Angela Johnson and pictures by David Soman. One of three. All right, so let's read. And of course, this is my title page. One of three. And here is our, there's our table of contents that shows us that the story we're about to read, one of three, is on page three. And then there's a second story called Cross Country Trip on page 31. And we'll read that on Thursday. All right, so here we go. There's a picture. So let's see what happens in our story. Since I can remember, I've been one of three. Eva, Nikki, and me. Do we know who's talking yet? Not yet, but we know one is named Eva, one is named Nikki, and somebody is me. Hopefully me has a name and what are they doing here yeah they're playing dress up probably with their mommy's clothes one of three sisters that walk to school together down the street together one of the three and the sun and the rain so here's one two three Okay, so one of three sisters that walks to school together. So we know that they all go to school. We know that. Let's see, look here. One of them looks really tall. And this one looks short. And this one looks like maybe if we put her here, she might be in the middle. Now let's keep reading. I'm one of the three that lives in apartment number two, has long hair and brown eyes, and can sometimes play hopscotch by the trash cans if I ask for a long time. Oh, so maybe this is me. The one that is telling us the story. So listen again, where it says, I'm one of the three. So here's one, two, three. I'm one of the three that lives in apartment number two, has long hair and brown eyes, and can sometimes play hopscotch by the trash cans if I ask for a long time. So looking at all three, which one has long hair? Yeah, this one. And which one is playing hopscotch? Oh, this one too. Let's see. See what happens. Oh, look here. This is a oh, baker. It looks like he's baking chocolate chip cookies. Oh, I can just imagine the smell so delicious. On Saturdays, I'm one of the three that sits outside the bakery and looks and smells and smells. Whoa. And look here, it reads bakery. 
And here's all the different pastries. And there's some cakes. Oh, oh my. So let's look. They say that I'm one of three. And remember, one of them says, the me who is telling the story says she has long hair. Does she have long hair? No. How about this one? Does this one have long hair? No. How about that one? Oh, so maybe that is her. Let's keep reading. Oh, look here. I'm one of the three that squeezes into the taxi on snowy days with Mama and Sarah and Grandma. And it's warm there. Whoa, look. They all squeeze into a taxi because it is snowy. It looks like this one has a snowball. Oh, I think that might be Grandma. Ooh. Okay, let's see what happens. I'm one of three that looks just like our mama. She's, oh, like our mama. Smiles just like our daddy and holds hands with my sisters in the store, looking like triplets almost. Okay, so there's the mommy, there's the daddy, and there's the three of them. And it says looking like triplets almost. Now, triplets are three babies that are born on the same day by the same mommy. But when she says almost, it's like we really aren't triplets because look at their sizes, right? Just by looking at the illustration, we can compare and we know that this one must definitely be the oldest one. And then the one in the middle She's probably the youngest. And then this one might be the one that's in the middle. Ah, let's see what happens. I'm one of three. So right here, they're in the subway. I'm one of three that likes the subway, the people on it, and the way our feet hang over the seats. There they are with their mommies. Yeah. I've never been on a subway. Have you ever been on a subway? Yeah, me either. I'm one of three who lives over the flower shop. Mr. Lowen still gets all of our names wrong, but he gives us each a daisy every time. So they live up here. Remember, they live in apartment two. And so Mr. Lowen, the one who owns the flower shop, forgets their names or gets it wrong. So that means he mixes up their names, but he always gives them a daisy. the street and it reads we walk down the street like stair steps and I'm in front uh oh maybe what we've been guessing could be incorrect because it says and I'm in front so which one is in front I think this one might be the one in front but does she have long hair? Well, maybe if she takes her braids out, she might have long hair. We don't know. Maybe this is not the right guess. I don't know. Let's keep reading. Oh, how exciting. Oh, my gosh. Let's see. Sometimes Ava and Nikki say, I'm not invited to go with them, not to the park, the store, or sometimes even for a walk. Oh, is that being very kind? No. So maybe these two, one of them is Ava and one is Nikki. 
Oh, have you ever, if you, if you have a brother or a sister, do they ever tell you, no, you cannot come with this? Oh, I do. I have three sisters, and they used to say that to me when I was little. I'm left behind. Not one of three, just one. Oh, and how does she look? She looks really sad. Oh, let's see what happens. Then Mama calls me, sister, and says, I'm too little to go, to go there or or do that. So maybe I just want to help her paint or read to her. Oh, and she looks so sad. But she wants to be like her bigger sisters. So she's too little. Daddy says that I have to be the baby sometimes and keep Mama and him company just sometimes. Oh, so she is the baby. Are any of you the baby of your family? Yeah, sometimes it's rough if you're the baby. Your older brothers or sisters don't want to do things with you. But your mom and dad do. I miss Ava and Nikki and me. But when it's just mama, daddy, and me, it's a different kind of three. And that's fine, too. Here she is with her mama and her daddy. And she's having fun with them. the end. She finally fell asleep after her parents read the story to her. And look at her older sisters are just watching her. It's their way of saying, we love her, right? The end. Now wasn't that such a sweet story? It was indeed. Aww. All right, friends. So when we meet for ELA today, make sure that you bring the two papers that we're going to do for writing. The first one is my favorite color is, and the second one is my favorite book. So make sure that you have those two ready, okay? See you guys in a bit.